before we end the session we have an exciting last minute addition we had sorry uh can can you spotlight janani So, so it's my pleasure to introduce Janani Balasubramaniam, who is an artist and researcher working at the intersection of contemporary art and science. Uh, Janani's work is rooted in years-long invited collaborations with scientists, through which they discover how artistic inquiry can meet, expand, and provoke new thought in relation to a given scientific dis discipline. Uh, Janani's work has been presented and or commissioned by over 160 venues across North America and Europe. And, and like reading the full bio will take a lot of time. So, so I will just uh, uh, give the stage to uh, Janani who will be talking about artistic inquiry and DNA storage. Hi everyone. And thank you Shubham for the introduction. My name is Janani Balasubramanian. I'm an artist based in New York City. Currently I'm an artist in residence with Stanford Institute for Diversity in the Arts. Stanford Compression Forum and Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts. Indigenous peoples and activists have asked for land acknowledgements even when we convene in digital space. So I acknowledge today that New York City, where I live, sits on the traditional land of the Lenape people. Stanford University is located on the traditional land of the Moakma Ohlone people. And I give thanks to the Lenape and Ohlone peoples and their elders, both past and present, who continue to steward this land, air, and water. About me as an artist, I do my work through multi-year investigations and collaborations with scientists. A lot of people ask me when they find out that I'm an artist, um, what kind of artist I am, what medium I practice in. At that point, I usually launch into a couple paragraphs about how I consider art to be a practice of sustained curiosity, playful inquiry, and slow learning. In my practice, I seek to repair some of the rifts that have emerged between art and science as fields, that we are both, in fact, disciplines dedicated to asking good questions and building new worlds. I love scientists and the practice of science, and this appreciation is what fundamentally drives my work. I am playful and experimental when it comes to artistic mediums. With each project, I began not with a medium in mind, but instead by discovering the core ideas around which to build the work. I then discover the medium of delivery that will best align those core ideas with the needs of my audience. In the past, I have worked in installation, augmented reality, spatial audio, live performance, and text. In the future, I am open. With any project, like Shiva mentioned, I consider how artistic inquiry can meet, expand, and provoke new thinking in a given scientific discipline. For the past several years, a lot of my work has lived in the domain of astrophysics, including ongoing collaborations with astrophysicist Natalie Gosnell and with the Brown Dwarf Astrophysics Group in New York City. Dr. Sahi Wiseman invited me to be part of his research group at Stanford this year to discover what we might do together in the field of compression. And DNA storage caught my eye as an emerging technology. It provokes in me a desire to probe questions about time, long time given the durability of the medium, and questions about space, ecological and social resilience questions about archival practice and what information is sacred and important to us, how we build language, how we make meaning, how we read, write, transcribe, protect, order, what is organic and what is synthetic, how we communicate with far futures and feel responsible to our descendants. My early thoughts on how this investigation appears in the art object world have me thinking on 2D and 3D work. I'll point you to the artist elders, Agnes Dennis and Newton and Helen Harrison as past workers of this kind of art scientific inquiry. And I'll drop those names in the DNA storage Slack so you can take a look. They are good references for the kinds of 2D and 3D work I am thinking about. For now, I hope you consider this an earnest invitation in an early stage of this process. 
if you are curious about art as a practice of inquiry and knowing and how this might intersect with the fields of DNA storage and data compression, I would love to talk to you. Thank you for your time and thank you again to Dr. Sahi Wiseman, the Compression Forum and Stanford Arts for making it possible for me to be here. Thanks, thanks, Janani. And uh, like as always, uh, you can contact us on Slack. And yeah, uh, so so now we are slightly uh, went over time, but but we have a few minutes for break. So we will take a break and uh, reconvene at twelve.